My name is Nick Sanford. I'm a director at Fit and Farm. Fit and Farm deliver locally sourced goods to commercial kitchens and people's homes. I came originally from a publishing background many, many years ago, and then I worked in operations. Um, and that gave me experience with the financial side, things like budgeting. Nick worked with local food and he has lots of experience with um, logistics, so it just seemed a natural thing for us to do. When we started in 2009, it was the beginning of the recession and it was a very difficult time, you know, not just for us but for everybody. I'm Isabel Ray. At Fletching Glass Houses we grow organic vegetables. We work with Finn and Farm for a number of years and it works really well because they can collect from all sorts of Sussex suppliers and then they, they collect all the orders together and then deliver to a whole number of shops. There's so much that you wouldn't expect to find locally, like chilies, spices, olive oil, um, which is grown in Greece. The olives are grown in Greece but they're pressed by a local company. From the word go, we, we decided that uh, we would pay our, our employees living wage. Uh, we thought it was very important that we did this. Living wage, I heard about through the Chamber of Commerce. It wasn't something that we'd ever really thought about because to us, the living wage is, is really just a common sense approach to paying a salary. If anything, it, it just helps create a more cooperative environment. I think paying the living wage uh, has benefited Finn and Farm. Um, from our employees giving us, you know, 100% because that's what we, we need and we try to make it a very comfortable environment to work in. If you're paying a living wage, then you should tell everybody that you're paying it because then it makes it the norm. It's nothing special and it's just the way that businesses are expected to run. I, I just think paying people £4.20 an hour, you're not going to get the maximum from those people and also it's just unlivable.